And finally tonight here, our person of the week. You know we love visiting American factories and celebrating workers across this country. But tonight, one worker who is beyond committed. Not just walking to work, walking 10 miles each way because he couldn't afford a new car. Tonight here, the big surprise for him just today. We were there for it and for our person of the week. Hello, my name is James Robertson. I'm 56 years old. I live in Detroit. Like so many Americans, James Robertson gets up every morning to go to work. His commute on foot, 21 miles. That's right, more than 10 miles each way. I walk 21 miles every day just to get to a job that I love. A factory worker at Shane Molden Engineering, he's never missed a day of work in his 13 years there. It's fun and my co-workers were like a second family. A family worth walking to ever since his car broke down more than a decade ago. I had bought a 1988 Honda for $500 uh, and uh, it only lasted uh, about three, four months. He said he could never afford a new car. Over time, driving to work himself, a Detroit banker, Blake Pollock, notices something. The thing that I saw was this man walking down the road uh, at all different points on this road in all types of weather. So one day, he offers James a ride and a friendship soon forms. His commute is just astonishing to me. The banker tells the newspaper, the Detroit Free Press, then the article. Then a 19-year-old college student reads it. Enter Evan Leedy. I read in the comments that people were asking how they could donate, which inspired me to create the GoFundMe page. The goal? To raise $5,000 to get James an old used car. Within four hours, we had $25,000 donated, and $25,000 turned into $50,000, turned into $100,000, and now it's up to $300,000. First the banker, then the student, then the Detroit giant, Ford, who invited James today to test drive some cars, aware of all those donations. But when James got there, they simply gave him the car instead. The keys to your new Ford Taurus. And let's come take a look at it. He was overwhelmed they gave him the car. How do you like it? I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> and then it hits him. <laughs> you know, if only my parents could see me now. Saying if only his parents could see him, but tonight, the whole country has. I feel like I'm just a simple average guy having fun, and I've been blessed you know, to, to do what I've been blessed to do. And so we choose James Robertson, a team helping him plan his retirement and home repairs with those donations. He's back to work on Monday, driving this time. I'm David Muir. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday night. Good night.